time for a quick little prowl review. Now, I picked this guy up. Um, really, the main purpose I got him was so I could use the parts for Mirage and Jazz. So, since I already have another prowl set back home, that's all nice and modded up. So, I'm actually going to include a link to the actual source for my mod. I'm going to include that in the description. So, you can go check that out. It's another totally different person. They come up with a really cool design that I really liked. And so, I went ahead and I rebuilt my prowl in that version. So, here we got prowl. I've also kept these little guys, the creons. I'm going to keep them in, your, in their baggies because I've already got them. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these two. So, I'll see what happens with them. And we see he comes with Prowl, little Prowl Creon, which I can say is pretty cool. And a little Swap Creon. Let me turn this around here. You got some nice little box art there. And here's the back. Can't even see the top there. There you go. And here we have Prowl. So, you can see his little Creon right here. I'm just going to basically show you him on the box. Because it's the same thing that you see there. He's a nice, clean, white... He's got these little red horns, similar to the robot build's head. Looks really nice with the little police doors in the back. Really nice little Creon. I really dig that one. And then here's your little human Creon SWAT guy. Just standard SWAT guy. Chest piece with a couple pockets on it. SWAT on it. Helmet. He also comes with a ball cap, which you can see in the baggie. There's a ball cap and a helmet, so that's nifty. And then, you know... And of course the product placement all that so there's your box now let me get on to his vehicle mode there he is now one thing I'd like to let you know is I'm, I did not put any I did not put any stickers on this guy apologize for my enunciation there I didn't put any stickers on him because like I said I'm gonna be using him for parts so I don't want you know it'll be there about to put a part onto Mirage and it says police on it so that wouldn't really work out. Um, I might use some of these stickers though. Some of these right here. So for example the little Autobot logos, those could be useful. These little gray pieces here could be useful. You know, stuff like that. They can just go anywhere. So I might use those but onto the actual little vehicle itself. I like this little car. It's supposed to be a little highway patrol police car. I dig it. I really do. It's pretty neat. This watch came loose there. There we go. It's a pretty neat little car. It's got nice rubber wheels. Same wheels as Jazz. So those are those roll very nice as you can see. So yeah, I really dig this. You know, I like him. He's kind of blocky, but overall nice. He's got the little clear pieces here for actual side mirrors, which we don't see on a lot of the smaller sets. Um, you can open up this top part. Let's see if I can get it off. There we go. You can take this whole thing off. And you can see inside he's got a couple little engines there, little boosters. So you can see this is a fast police car. A little steering wheel and a little stick shift in there. The doors do open. They open up all the way. So you can stick your little Creon in there that way if you can. Somehow it's a little tight fit. But this is a very neat little car. I like it. So there you have it. There's Prowl in his vehicle mode. Now I'm going to get him taken down, built up in robot mode, and show that off. And here we have Prowl in robot mode. You can see, again, looks pretty bland without the stickers. So, sorry about that. You can see the stickers where they are up here on the box. Actually, let me try and angle this up a little more so you can see that better. So you can see where he would have stickers. You know, the little grill stickers here on the chest, which come from here. And then you'd have things like this red and black kind of mesh piece would go here on the crotch. Things like that. You'd have Prowl here. Um, just other stickers, police on the doors, which actually, if you did have the police stickers on here, they'd be upside down. On the box, it shows them right side up. Here, upside down. So just giving you that heads up that when you do build this, if you want to keep them in this form, you might want to just come back here. It's a really easy fix to just basically take this and flip it over. Very easy to do. So here's Prowl. Now let me give you the basic rundown of what I like and what I don't like. What I like, as always, head sculpt. Very nice. Very nice. Let me see, that's a little bright there. There we go, that's better. You can see very nice, nice clean white with the red horns, blue eyes, nice silver face. Very cool. 
I dig that. I like, you know, he's got the little fist, rubber wheels. You know, he looks pretty nice, but he also... I mean, look at his, where his shoulders are at. That's here. His head's over here. Like, that's that's way too much space in between those. I, I don't know what they were thinking giving that much space in between his shoulders and his head. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So that looks very... As you can say, it's very derpy. Very uncool. You know, he's also pretty thin. You see, he's got a very thin build. He doesn't look very built up. You know, he looks kind of like Popeye with the wheels down here in his forearms. It makes his forearms look bigger than his upper arms, which gives him that little Popeye look. You know, it's not too cool. So, I, again, I'll say it again, I'm putting in the description a link to a mod that I used for my Prowl, which I have him currently in that same form. I think it looks really awesome. He's got these hood pieces are moved up here. You know, the shoulders are brought up. Everything's basically rearranged to give him a much better build. Make him look much better. He's not as poseable in terms of his arms being able to move everywhere like these guys, like this guy's are. You know, he's got ball joints there that can go everywhere. But I still think, I, I think he sacrificed a little bit of movement for a lot of awesome. You know, so, I mean, he's a pretty cool figure, though. When I built him the first time, I remember... I wasn't 100% thrilled with him, but I also wasn't majorly disappointed. So, again, let me try and give you some more little shadow here. Might want to turn off one of those lights. So, But he looks pretty neat, you know. With some mods, he's definitely worth it. I think, you know, I got him, Toys R Us had him mar listed at 10 bucks. So actually, my Mirage costed more than this guy. Which is fine, because I got him for free with their buy one get one free thing. Which I've been mentioning a lot. So, sorry about that if I've been mentioning that too much. So back to problem. His head on a ball joint, as always. So this moves around. Actually, he's got some really good range of movement. He can look up. He can look pretty well down, I guess. Well, not that down. But you see. Yeah. His shoulders are on ball joints, so those will go wherever you want them. Elbows on hinges. So those only go basically like that. So actually, they won't even go anymore because of this piece right here. So they go up that far, which is fine. You know, they come straight back, those straighten out. His hips are on ball joints, nothing at the waist. Hips are at ball joints, knees, as you just saw right there as he fell, on hinges. Those are on hinges, so those will go pretty much all the way back. And his ankles are on ball joints as well. So he's got some good posability to him. You can get him in some pretty neat poses and stuff, much better than Jazz and I'm sure Mirage from what I've seen. So you can get him into some pretty cool stuff here. You know? I guess. I mean, this is not the best of poses. And he does come with quite a few extra pieces. So you really can fix him up. The mod that I used, all the pieces came out of this one box. So you don't have to worry about getting an extra set or anything. It all came straight from that. Um, one thing is, the pictures I used, it's just like three pictures of pretty low quality of him. So it's very, it, was, it took me a while to figure it out. So I will give you that heads up if you're going to try that out. So it will give you some trouble in terms of just figuring out what goes where due to the fact that it's not a step-by-step -step thing. It also isn't, you know, a perfectly straight-on picture of him at every angle. You know, it's pretty much all overhead stuff, which kind of clouds things up. So you might have to use your imagina imagination every here and there. But overall, as for Prowl himself... Giving this a review, I say, you know, if you really like these sets, if you dig them like me, go for it. He's fun, he's cool, he's really nice, he looks really nice next to my other guys. So, I suggest you go for it. He really helps you to round out your collection, and um, he's really good for displaying and all that. So, there you have it. There is Prowl. Actually, one thing I just noticed, on the box, these pieces up here are red. In the figure and in the instructions, they're black. So these little pieces here on his forearms that are red, they're actually black. So I just noticed that right now. So that's that's kind of uncool. But there you have it. There he is. Prowl. This has been Self Portrait 14. Thanks for watching. I will be coming at you with some more videos soon. And I want you guys to have a good day.